Hi everyone. Oh, okay. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the stream. Tonight I am starting a new game. I'm going to be playing Clock Tower on the PlayStation. This is my first time ever playing through this game, so I'm kind of excited. I've only played through the Super NES and Clock Tower 2 uh, that was on also on PS1. So this is all new to me. I'm really excited and I'm playing for the kids. Raising money. A thousand dollars. Let's watch the opening. Oh. This is the uh, ending scene from the Super Nintendo one. Sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. <laughs> the giant scissors once again search for prey. This voice acting is not the best. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. There it is, the Barrow's Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of scissor men. Got to be joking. Way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> we'll make it through this game of murder alive. <laughs> Clock Tower. <laughs> Fear is fascinating. Well, hopefully, I make it out alive. I do like the music from the um, original game. The opening was pretty cool. Alright, so we're going... Oh, that's a pamphlet. Clock Tower Story. Okay, I need a refresher. Oh, this is the opening to the, the original game. In the mountains of Romsdaren, Norway, stands the Barrow's family mansion. This mansion had a large clock tower. Hi! Welcome! You just made it just in time. I'm about to uh, start playing. By which the locals tended their flocks in the surrounding fields, the local people called the mansion the clock tower. In 1986, the mistress of the Barrow's mansion gave birth to twins. From the day they were born, however, it was obvious the twins were not normal and were evil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the twins were given the names Bobby and Dan, who were later to become the murderous scissormen. I think in the Super Nintendo one, we fought Bobby. I think that was his name. In 1995, a young girl from the Granite Orphanage, whose parents died when she was quite small, was lured into the Barrow's mansion, where she was attacked by a monster wielding a giant pair of scissors. That monster was the grown-up Bobby. Okay, he was Bobby. She managed to escape from the terrible horrors, destroy the monster, and flee the mansion. For the next year, all of Norway, I didn't realize it took place in Norway, <laughs> was caught up with the sensationalized Scissor Man murderer. Although Jennifer thought he was dead, Scissor Man has reappeared. Is it the brother then? Okay. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I heard that some choices you make will determine who you play as, so fingers crossed I make the right choices to be Jennifer <laughs> and not her friend or whoever the other person is you can be. Is that scissors? No, no. Professor Barton? Professor Barton? Professor Barton? What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. 
She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. Let me do I what I want. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Is that a threat? Yes, Professor. If you don't let me do what I want, I'm going to fire you. Oh, I get to be this dude? Oh, great. Okay. Is he going to turn out to be the scissor man? Hmm. There's a faint smell of ammonia. What? What is that on his desk? W whoa. <laughs> a replica of the scissors used by the murderer. Uh, and... Oh, these are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Okay, that was very sudden. <laughs> We're going to go in red and then switch uh, perspective. That was a little weird. Is, is he going to become Scissor Man? I think he will. <laughs> He's crazy. So far, I do not like him. What's this? There's a memo stuck between the- oh, okay. I found hint one. I don't know- oh. Oh yeah, there's probably like tons of endings for this game too. Oh, go through- I'm supposed to look at something else? Okay. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson. Damn, I can't read. Okay, I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. Okay. laboratory. Lately I've been doing most of criminal psychology. Research. Hmm, the staff is still here. I think this game would have benefited from smaller uh, text. Be less awkward to read it. A statue. It is called one of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It'd be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Is it is this like a purple alien face or something? I can't really tell. Hello. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm, well I did just threaten her job she's trying to be a good guardian to a uh, victim of uh, witnessing homicide of 10 people and I'm being a dick about it you know Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters aren't they I guess that's what happens when you live together okay Beth okay one mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Wow. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. Two Barton's a dick. I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother would be okay too. I think he probably will. <laughs> a stuffed animal. Looks like a prize won at a fair. Oh, it looks like a teddy bear. And he's also like wearing an ascot. <laughs> he looks so goofy. Helen's desk. Oh, whoa, what's this? Is this a mask? 
Scissor Man's Ripper Mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid <laughs> Well, yeah, you got that right. Uh, is, is that all you say about the mask? Oh. Oh, I can't skip this. Hello, Mr. Blonde Dude. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment? Excuse me, for an interview? Hmm. It's about the Clock Tower murders, isn't it? Hmm, I guess they want to sensationalize this. Scissor Man, who really, oh, who really doesn't even exist. Say, well, then who killed those ten people? Scissor Man, it, I missed what he said, huh? Or, um, it's just a joke. I know, he says that, but he fans boys over scissors. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's weird. You shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Dude, what? what is faxing? Or is there a copy machine? Is this a copy? No. Okay, let's leave. Bye, Beth. Bye, Danny. Oh. What else do I need to do? The mask. Oh, whoops. So. Harris's desk clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Is that enough? Can I go? I guess so. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, are you the reporter? Oh, no, it's Harris. Oh, Professor, a newspaper reporter is looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Okay. Professor, I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell, and this is Tim, my cameraman. Tim doesn't get a last name? I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Oh, do I have to clip them again? Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility oh do you mean the victim that's testifying that'd be Jennifer Jennifer Simpson wouldn't it yes but what about her no oh, nothing really it's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago I said something about a dick professor Hypnotizing her. <laughs> we asked her for an interview, but she refused. Okay. Oh, do I have to click it again? You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Scissorin man. And whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That's what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this scissor man has become 
a symbol of terror among youngsters. But really, just youngsters? <laughs> yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much, not, not much I can say about that. Oh, and I just missed my chance. Okay. I don't get it. Sometimes the text will just move on its own, and other times it just sits there. The fact that there... Maybe it's one I have to scroll down. It's the fact that there was a murderer. He used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd scroll ball. But what about what she s said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must att be attending to. Oh, well, okay. I, under I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry, I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. Who else survived? He's supposed to be a young boy. Oh no. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> He's supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. Did you run by this by Jennifer? She might be able to warn you. I, I think that's probably gonna be um, Danny. Is that the other kid's name? He was on the third floor. Wait, I thought that's where you're... Okay. I guess it's on the second floor? I find it really strange he doesn't believe Jennifer, but seems to be obsessed with Scissorman anyway. Like, if he thinks she's making it up, like, does he not... Does he not believe that the Scissor Man is immortal, or he doesn't believe it doesn't exist at all? Because he said to, um, that other dude, he said to that other dude that, that Scissor Man doesn't exist, but then he's talking about Scissor Man like it's, it's just a normal murderer. So I'm not sure I really understand his viewpoint. It's probably just that he doesn't think Scissor Man exists as an immortal being of some sort. Bad ending clock tower because you're a weenie. <laughs> I think I got, I went through and, and I got all the endings, but for the life of me, I can't really remember much of the game. I think it's been about 10 years since I, I last played it. Oh, that's Harris, right? I think he has a weird scissor man kink, like he writes fa I bet, I bet he does. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Is there something I can do for you? I guess not. Should I quick save this? I'm gonna just quick save it. Oh. Still something I need to do here. Um, what do I need to look at? Okay, nope. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was an, that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first and see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Uh, sure, yes. Oh, what? Yes. All right, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. 
Harris, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thank you. Okay, that's it. I should probably go to the therapy room. W was that my choice? <laughs> I, I, I hope I didn't fuck it up. Okay. I just like how he's like, hey, Harris, can you take this statue and show it to a guy named Rick? And he's just like, okay, <laughs> we'll get right on that. Alrighty. Okay, you think he's gonna die? I think he's gonna die. Look at that outfit. Uh, well, who's this person? Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he was complete, completely lost all his memory. From the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Or, uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. What? Oh no, did I, p I re answer wrong? You said your hard drive crashed. That's too bad. Yeah, I lost all of this morning's data. I hope I can get it fixed sometime today, otherwise... I won't get my dis dissertation done on time. Don't worry, when Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm gonna step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure, see you later. Okay. Um, where should we go? We got a hotel, the newspaper, police station, library, university research building, university staff housing. Um, well, I assume I'm in the research building. Let's talk to the paper. I'll be mobbed by reporters if I go there. Why are you giving me a choice if you don't want me to go? Okay. The police station. All right. So did I pick wrong? I wanted to be Jennifer. Hold on a sec. I'm going to look it up.
characters, items, hints. Oh. The main character is determined by the number of times Harris is spoken to in the corridor during the prologue. If he's spoken to two or more times, then Jennifer becomes the main character. Didn't I speak to him two more times? Hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm going to reload my save. Oh. Damn it. Uh, okay, I guess we're just going to play that lady, because... Hello! I'm doing okay. I'm bummed, because I'm apparently I didn't do the right thing, and I'm now not Jennifer. <laughs> it's going well. Though I didn't, I didn't talk to Harris enough in the hallway, so... I don't get to be Jennifer. Hmm. Yeah, I want to start over. Sorry, guys. I want to be Jennifer. <laughs> I don't want to be this character I don't know. Hmm. Like, I... I talked to everybody multiple times and I thought I talked to him twice, but Ugh, dang. Okay, come on. I wish there was a way to skip the uh the text. Okay. Okay. We'll go to the police station and I will read the set. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I thought for sure it would be something like, did you tell Harris to give the statue to the butler or something like that? Not like how many times you talked to Harris. Okay. Oh. No, I... Not letting me pause my game. Okay, I'll just do it this way. Mm -mm -mm. But so far, I gotta say, this game is holding my interest a lot more than Clock Tower 2 did. <laughs> So have you guys all uh, played this game before? I have not. So yay, we get to experience Professor's dickish questions again. Professor Bark. Professor Bark. Oh, you have? <laughs> Professor Bark. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower oh, yeah, is a fascinating uh, research I, I will for me. be using save states. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. Right. Yeah, uh, a night cry <laughs> it was thing, not Helen. very good. I have that one too. I was thinking about streaming it as well. But you are also my so I played. I played the yes, Super Professor. Nintendo version, uh, translated like odds are wrong a couple years ago. I played Clock Tower Two and I played Night Cry and I, I beat all those. But this is my first time with this one. I don't know why I never actually got it. 
Which is strange, because I love survival horror. I just like how it just cuts off, like, oh, we're done being crazy. <laughs> he, I bet he does. <laughs> hmm, there's a faint smell of ammonia. Okay, do I have to look at anything else? The Clock Tower Murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson. Why does that go by so fast? I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. Okay, can I leave? You know, I'm really thinking that Professor is going to be the scissor guy. Mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, the staff is still here. What, what time is it supposed to be? He seems surprised that the staff is here. Over 10 victims. 10 plus infinity victims. A statue. It is a cold one. Cold, one of the items found at the scene. Of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Professor Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. No, no, he's not. He's a dick. I wish I had a cute kid sister, a cute kid brother. He would be okay, too. Okay. Subject animal. The mask. Scissorman's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops, and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Well, what about your replica scissors, dude? Yeah, I'm gonna let. Him, <laughs> I will let him die first if I can. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Hmm, I guess they want to sensationalize this. Scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Scissor man, I'd be, it'd be cool if you were real. Huh? Or, um, just a joke. I don't get it. You should keep the re you shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Okay. Oh, I did need to click that. Here's his desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Just in case, let's do a quick save. Let me see if that worked. Okay. Yo. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter is looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
Um, is Jennifer? She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Oh, uh, no. I wanted to ask her out, but... <sighs> He's top-notch, though, that's for sure. But then... Oh, maybe... No, I could have sworn he said that to me before. Maybe I didn't. Okay, that's two times. Three times. One more time. That's what the, the, at least the, I looked up a walkthrough and that was the first hint. The main character is determined by the number of times Harris is spoken to in the corridor during the prologue. If he's spoken to two or more times, then Jennifer becomes the main character. Quick save it in. Okay, quick saved again. It's weird. I don't understand, yeah, why that would be the thing that determines the character. Like, why didn't talking to Beth determine it or talking to Danny about it? It's very weird. Uh, first floor. Professor, I'm the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman, who does not get a last name. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Oh, I have to talk to them again. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. It's Tim Apple, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. oh, no, really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. Oh, his full name is Tim Cameraman. <laughs> that makes sense. We asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I, kn I know what you are going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man, and whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That's what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the Scissor Man has become... A symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? I don't know if there was some weird murder, a serial killer who killed ten people in a single night. Would that count as serial... Uh, a spree killer? Anyway, serial killer kills 10 people with giant pair of scissors and most of the people were kids. I think a lot of people would be interested in it. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's a fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. Not very practical if you ask me. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. Uh, well, okay. I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. That's a really polite reporter. I have to get back to the lab. 
I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. He's supposed to be a young boy of 10 years old. Uh, really, smaller font would be better, guys. It would fit like a full sentence. Yeah, apparently he does. Scissor man all to himself. I know, I'm like expecting maybe another sentence and it's just like, murders. Alrighty. Like, for my, what I remember, at the end of the game, she fought, like, this big baby thing. We saw it in the opening, this big baby thing, and he bl and she blew it up. So I don't see how she could be making that up. Wouldn't there be, like, baby parts all over the place? It is. <laughs> Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower, murders, is here. Oh. Has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Is there something I can do for you? Okay. Let's give him this thing to give the butler. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrow's mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Okay, now I saw something, another hint that was right underneath. Oh, never mind. That's, that has nothing to do with it. So, yes. I'll give it. Alright, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, will you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the... Martyrs? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything? About it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home. This... Evening. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Okay, that's it. I should probably go to the therapy room. I like how he's just like, hey, give this to a dude named Rick. He doesn't ask for any other information, his last name. No, he's just like, okay, I I'll do it. <laughs> I'll give it to Rick. Oh. Something I could do for you. No, nope, he just he just says the same thing. Yeah, he's gonna like run into a Rick downstairs and be like, "Hey, I was told to give this to you on my way home." <laughs> Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. I won't hurt you. Hello, Rick James. I am instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory. From the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Edward. Are you by chance a hundred year old vampire? No? Okay. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything. You remember about what happened? Er, yes. I want to write... Uh, maybe Edward is his real name. I, I don't know. The way he reacted to that name was like, oh shit, that, that's his real name. Well then, let's get started. Yeah, he's Rick. Please be Jennifer. 
We'll save here. Yay! <laughs> I think I'll go out for a while. Wait, but I wanted to explore her room. <laughs> okay, um... I, I guess... Okay, I can go in the newspaper. Hotel. Library. Research building. Staff. Okay, I'll just make my way left to right. I would just be chased by reporters. Okay. Oh, that's right. Edward's supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Norway International Hotel. Wait, isn't Edward at the um, laboratory? Oh, okay. Well, they're meeting now. Is this boy Edward? <laughs> I like to imagine she just walked up to some random boy and, and lady and be like, Hey, are you Edward? Hey there. Yes, it is the very first time I've ever played this. <laughs> are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am. Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Um, yes, I have played the um, Super Nintendo one uh, about like 10 years ago, I think. And I've played, so I beat that one. I got, I think I got all the endings for that one. And I also played Clock Tower 2 and part of Clock Tower 3, I didn't get through that one, and I've played Nightcry the whole way through. Is he? Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Where was he? You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. I was hoping you would be able to come visit Edward. Please. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Like... Where was he hiding while I was running for my life and trying to save all my friends? <laughs> well, I must be going. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. Don't kill me with scissors. Oh, they did? Okay. Yeah, Clock Tower 3 is really weird. Like, there was a... You did some magical girl thing with a bow and arrow to kill serial killers across time. It was very bizarre. Okay, wait, that's newspaper, hotel. Let's go to the library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head librarian. Hello, Jennifer. Did you come check out a book or something? Mr. Sullivan, you're as cute as ever. How's Helen? She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? It's quite a collection of archaeological value. Uh, no, no thank you. It would take a long time. Goodbye, Mr. Su Sullivan. I'll drop in for a visit anytime. Wait, that's it? Okay. <laughs> no library for us. I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. 
I know, right? <laughs> he must be important if he gets a last name. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. It sounds like you need an SSD. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in the its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. Ooh, wait a second. This girl survived a serial killer attack like just a year ago. You're her guardian. You can't make two home house keys. You got to have her leave the key outside somewhere so some rando could find it and break in and hurt her. Yeah, I don't think so. Huh, someone in front of the house. What is that? Oh, that's... Who the hell is that? Is that your boyfriend? Oh, is that Nolan? Why is he in your room? Oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, very little of, it, of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Uh, well, uh... Uh... That's it. Both. <laughs> yes, both. An interview and a date. Teehee? What? <laughs> this is not a teehee moment. I was under the impression that Jennifer was like 16. How old is this reporter? <laughs> I <laughs> she's not. She's not 18. <laughs> I remember that much. It's been a year, so... Maybe she's 17, but still... Mm. He's standing her, yep. Uh, yuck. Yuck. Oh. It is very late. Uh-oh. Someone seems to be following me. Maybe it's your boyfriend. Wait, am I supposed to do something? What's wrong? is following me. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo? Expect him to just <laughs> get stabbed through from behind. <laughs> OK, 
okay. <laughs> um. Here's an academic journals. These look really boring. I like how she can still still take the time to observe the mundane stuff for me and not tell me to get the fuck out of here. It's a there is a flower pot. Okay. the master she's she's a chameleon what the what oh how did he get there he walked out of the room Jeez. Ooh, he won't suspect me of being in the men's room. Let's go in here. I'm assuming this is the bathroom. Very exciting. Already a thrilling uh, couple minutes. Her hands are slippery with blood. Is that from the security guard? Yikes, okay. Um, so should I make my way uh, down to the... The lab on the second floor, you think? No, I, I think it's from um, the security guard who got stabbed. Gee, <gasps> God damn it! <laughs> Everywhere I go, he's there. <laughs> So it's 10 years for a uh, senior. That's really gross. Well, I mean, she's, that's just 16, and he's like, yeah, let's go on a date. Sorry, Jennifer. You know what? I should try. I was thinking that that was going to be the case, which is why I was trying to find new places to uh, hide. Oh, well, that was nice. I'll just quick save every time I get away in case I fuck up. Alright, so this is the second floor, right? 
Oh, no, 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 the lab is this way. Hey, maybe if I put this mask on, he'll, like... Trading cards and small toys. Look at the mask. Yeah, I, I, I figured that out. I, I had a restart. I looked up, um... Oh, I have an office key? <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, had to look it up because I, I, I guess I only talked to him once. I could have sworn I hit him twice, but. If Edward's in here, I'm going to be really mad. Okay, is that for me just to hide in? Go in. Uh-oh. Is that the <gasps> professor? Who is that? Uh... Who is it? <clears throat> okay, you can throw up. Just tell me who it is. Oh wow, she's peeking. Okay. Come on, tell me who it is. I've had it with laying on this bed. Okay. Hey, maybe I can grab the scissors and we could fight back. <gasps> They're gone. Who didn't see that coming? A cheap table. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, wasn't the door on um, the top floor locked? Maybe that I have the key, I can open it. Or are we just supposed to go in circles to get away from? Okay, I'm gonna save. No one seems to be here. The door is locked. Okay. <laughs> Screw you, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't that be open? If it's a <laughs> emergency exit? Guess not. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh, yes, it is. You play, uh, there's three people you play as. Um, it's not very, oh, I was already in here. Okay, we don't need to go in there. What I didn't like about that game, it was so easy just to end up far enough along and you'd hit a dead end because you neglected to do something in the very first chapter or pick up something. It was very awkward to play and the story was very like an emergency ladder. It looks like a fire ladder. It's locked so I guess it can't be used in an emergency either. What's with this building? Yeah, I, uh, I, I actually backed that game when it was on Kickstarter. Thank goodness I only uh, did the $20 or something one. Otherwise, I'd be very, very annoyed. I I remember the, the big hullabaloo when the physical releases, collector releases were out. 
um, did I go in here? Apparently it was promised that there would be a nice box for the game and signatures and whatnot and a nice hardbound art book and what they ended up getting for the couple hundred they spent was this uh, cheap plastic DVD case with paper inserts and the art book was inserted inside a kind of like a paper manual size and um, very flimsy paper. It was very cheap and people were very upset. I still think that I don't think they even released uh, the Vita version yet. It's been a couple years now. Though the game they did release uh, was pretty buggy. There's something written here. You have discovered Hint 3. Okay. How do I? Um, how do I view the hints? Camp is creepy with everyone gone. There's no one walking around outside. Ghost Head is awful. Uh, that was actually what I was going to play until uh, I got I was able to get the this game. No oh, blocked. Clock Tower Three just felt like. A completely different game. Like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess Clock Tower 2 is a completely different game as well. So, I, do I just leave then? I like Taunting Ground. I think because there was a dog. <laughs> Huey! Huey was a good boy. Oh wait, this is the second floor. I don't know. Oops. Alright, let's leave. Oh, definitely. Like I said, I, I own Clock Tower 3, but I only got... I think through the first or second um, stage. The one with the little girl and the piano, I think, is the one I did. So I'll definitely have to stream that one too, because I never did finish it. It'd be interesting to see how it stacks up to the other Clock Tower games. Okay, yeah, so I didn't, I didn't really get very far. But I went in there. We didn't find anything.
this might be useful. Okay. I want something I can defend myself with. Oh, is that... Well, can I can like squirt oil or something maybe, and he slips. <clears throat> they didn't update it. I'm not surprised. Yeah, look up um on YouTube. Just look up Nightcry Physical Edition review. Is randomized, okay. Get ready, I'm coming to get you. Okay. Man, this scissor guy is really crafty. He gets computers to say kill, he faxes her. A pair of underpants is hanging up to dry. Okay. Handbags and umbrellas. Slot. Yeah, the music's pretty good. 
really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. Did I miss something in the in the uh, laboratory? Maybe. <laughs> Mr. Policeman, I gave you all the clues to find her. <laughs> Let me check the uh, this again. Oh wait, El Helen's office was next door. So maybe now that I had the key, I can unlock it. Oh, it's Mar Mari. Okay. Can I pick this up? Okay, so... <clears throat> so I wonder how our date with the newspaper guy went. have to look at Helen's computer. Let me try that. But her computer was fried, so I don't know what... Okay, this is Helen's computer, right? Helen's desk. Professor Barton's desk. There's a telephone. It's dead. Okay. I looked at this guy's computer, didn't I? There's even a picture of me here. What? Ugh. Are all the guys perving on Jennifer? No, she does look like Jennifer Connelly, so she's very pretty. Oh man. Try throwing the trash can at me. No, I haven't. Ooh. I can look at the hints. as many times when clicking on some item will rescue the character. Don't give up. Try to click on something until the very end. Okay. So let's reload this. Oh.
that's what I, I heard. I never, I never watched it. I always thought that was really cool. <clears throat> do you guys have, excuse me, do you guys have any ideas of where I should go next? Okay, there's absolutely nothing here in the... And I guess go to the third floor? I'm sad she's not wearing her blue jumper. <laughs> yeah, I she did she did uh mention it. Okay, where would the key be? I had a feeling that it was something like that. I guess I'll just have to check every room. Not very good at computers. Okay. There's some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. Okay. No, you can go ahead and give me a hint. Um, So I saw the ladder, but I just, I'm just not sure where the key would be. Maybe I missed it in that, that room downstairs? Because I was hiding from the scissor guy? Where's that room? Is it over here? Oh! Is he gonna pop out of the dead guy?
partition. Sofa. Blanket with blood stains. What is Oh, there we go. What is this? The ladder key. Perfect. Okay, quick save. Did not mean to click back there. Should I click on him? Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I like how the scissor man's like, yeah, let's uh, set up this dead body and make a scare. that all right let's go i thought he would too because i remember in the super nintendo game didn't he pop out from behind a dead body at one point the girl the girl in the shower i guess well that was his opening scene Watch him pop out as soon as I'm about to use the key. Oh yeah, I figured um, it works kind of like the other game. You have to use the item on the thing. Okay. Emergency ladder. Jennifer, you don't have that many options. <clears throat> oh, it's a rope. And here comes Scissor Man to cut it. Am I supposed to click there to go faster? it so far it's pretty goofy um but yeah it's so much it's a lot more fun than the, the second game but yeah it's fun and now who's this guy another mass murder and again you're saving you're saying that murder is a monster but it's true i can already see tonight's headlines scissor man is back jennifer well whether he exists or not you should go home now and rest we posted a policeman outside her house so you'll <clears throat> be safe thank you inspector that's assistant inspector Okay. Yeah, I know, right? They have to play this game. <laughs> At least true. It was a scissor man. I don't understand why people don't believe her. <sighs> Hello. Welcome to the stream. This is the first time I've played this. So, <laughs> it's very interesting so far. That was it. What should I do now? Mm. Let's try going to the library. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, go home. Is this where you live? 
Okay. Um, hotel. Let's go see Edward. Says Ramon prepared you for Silent Hill. <laughs> I think Resident Evil prepared me for Silent Hill. The Silent Hill games are awesome. I know there's no one here. I can hear people talking. This game is kind of giving me whiplash. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, go to the... No, no, she just wants to see reporters. I will go see the inspector. Yeah, that alley scene is really iconic. Oh, you're still here. You should go home before it gets dark. Don't forget your key. Um... Okay. Let's try. I wonder what Nolan's doing that dream boat. Hello. Well, <laughs> it does have Jennifer Connelly in it, so... <laughs> This man is the cameraman who is with Nolan, who does not have a last name. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Nolan, he just went to look for you. He's worried about you. Oh, he is? He should be back in a bit, but I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Oh. <laughs> Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again, and if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. I suppose you're right. I'll come back later then. I'll leave the back door open for you, so try not to be seen when you come in. Thank you. Okay. Um, do I go back to the building? I wonder if Helen is here. Did you guys watch the, um, the remake of Suspiria that, that came out a couple months ago? How do you donate? Well, there is a link at the bottom of my Twitch stream. Just hit the, the big donate image and it'll take you to my Extra Life page. If not, I can give you the link. Just give me one sec. Here we go. Okie dokie. Oops, where'd my screen go? Well, there it is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you if you donate. That would be really helpful. Hi, Helen. Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower. Murder. Yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Hmm. Harris has it. And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. Oh, we know Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see.
Anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue's there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything relating to... Scissor Man. Yes. Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer. Yes? Who's Nolan? It's my new boyfriend. <laughs> well, I better run along now. Wait, what about the dead body that was in the back room? Does no one care about that body? Okay. Uh, back to the newspaper? Oh, Nolan's there. Jennifer, are you all right? Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. It's really noisy in here. Is there an, oh, actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he's involved in the clock tower case. I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Brayers family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the... Brayers family. What about it? Well, Professor Barton might have given the... statue to him. You mean the one they found at the scene of the... murder? Yes, I want every little clue relating to this case. Okay, should I get the statue from him? Alright, I'll go see him and get it. Well, do you want to ask Nolan yes or no? Okay, thank you for, for stopping by. I will be uploading the whole playthrough onto my YouTube channel on Whitney Plays on YouTube. Uh, do we want Nolan, our boyfriend, to get it, or do, do we want to do it herself? Um, I'm thinking yes. A little wait to see what you guys think. Do we want him to get the statue, or do do I want to say no? I'm thinking yes. Okay, make Nolan do it. Alrighty. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. The sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go now, then. I get to play Nolan? Oh, okay. Well, now I get to play your boyfriend. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yes, if you have any idea, please tell me. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrows? Yes, he does. Castle. Barrows Castle? Yes, it is a castle in England. Then, before the Barrows family moved... Yes, this is what I have heard over 80 years ago. I like this song. Mm, 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 mm. Is there something in the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. Just like Scissor Man. 
I had thought it was it, a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Then there was a way of defeating Scissor Man. Rick, do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is. And then Scissor Man comes out and stabs him in the back. <laughs> Chandelier falls on his head. Nolan, I was given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. Why is his voice acted? So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion. Yes, what wonderful times they were. Except for... Oh, you know, I was joking about this chandelier falling on him. <laughs> but apparently I can see the future. Uh. Oh, he can? How, how else can he die? Seriously, that, that's funny. His dog kills him? Oh. What would I have had to do to get that to happen? Go in here, dude. Apparently, I'm not gonna do that. Sorry, Nolan. Oh, there's a door, that's why I couldn't get in here. <laughs> Good night. Thank you for stopping in, stopping by, and watching. Oh, Scissor Man got lazy. All right. Good night. Yeah, I'm probably gonna um, once I get done with this little scenario, I'm probably gonna end for tonight. But I will continue playing tomorrow night at around 9 p.m. as well. Go until 11. I don't think Scissor Man is in here. Okay. <laughs> Chest is not used, it still looks fairly new. Oh, sorry, uh, Pacific Standard Time? Chest. It's a fine looking chest, too bad it isn't being used. Yeah. And, um, usually after Within the next day, I upload whatever my stream was onto the YouTube channel. So if you miss something, it's on there as well. Which I have linked below. Uh, is there nothing here? Okay. So if I didn't tell him to go talk to the butler, would Jennifer have come here? Ooh, 
What is this? A wooden mask is on the wall. Something's written on it. This this is the location of Waro's castle. Wow. That that was nice. <laughs> he just sort of threw the shaker at it. <laughs> Be gone, demon! Uh, let's check this door, I guess. Shit at him. No, 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 no. Okay, can you tell me what it is? is... Oh! <laughs> that was easy. Feels cold. Yeah, I have the statue. That's all for... How do you know that's all for this place, dude? Um, anything else? Leave me bed. Um, let's 
go over here. I need to get powder to get by the dog. Okay. Oh, it does? Okay. So if I, if I didn't tell him to come here, would Jennifer have come to this house? Oh, I didn't want to go out here. Ha! Ah, oh, he's having fun. Flashes like that? What? I was hitting the button, but nothing happened. Am I supposed to click it on to the sensor guy? The rabbit tap the panic button when it flashes, but it doesn't always work. Okay, so I'm just supposed to be hitting the button. Okay, let me... square because I'm on an Xbox controller. bad for me and it's like here we'll just get you past the point. Oh you can just move with the coast in? Nope. Nope, I set the button. Okay, hold on, let me go look at my PlayStation controller. this? No? Get the plan!
thought I could run around him. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Wait, where are you going, dude? Does that mean he's out of strength right now? items while he's being chased. At least now I know which button square is. I gotta find a hiding spot. I wonder if he'll believe Jennifer now that he's encountered the scissor man. Oh, I thought this was so good. Thank you. 
care of him? Okay, well, I'll take it. <laughs> that was... <laughs> he has these big scissors and a blanket takes him out. Okay. Uh... Oh, that's where I exit. Okay. Got the soap. Let's save it. And... Back, it's Rick's dog glaring. Duh, mad with beard. I wonder what's wrong with him. Um, do I have to point this at the window? Oh! Oh, I don't like having to hurt the doggy. Okay, it's a really big area. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> okay, well, that should do it for tonight. I will continue on with Clock Tower tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you can't make it, no problem. I will be uploading my entire playthrough onto my YouTube channel, Whitney Plays. If not, I will see you then. So thanks, thank you everybody for hanging out with me. This game is pretty fun so far. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> so, uh, I'll talk to you guys all again tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.